so what is going on everybody welcome to your 21st android application development tutorial my name is mehul and in this tutorial i'm gonna bore you with 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 what was i gonna to i'm gonna teach you about web view right so web view is just kind of a way to access internet from your application and uh, actually let me just show you real quick what this does so web view just like we create any other view you would just gonna create this like layout width of match parent height is match parent then an id of my browser and then pretty much you would just in main activity.java you would say right web view is my browser is actually not new it's actually web view find view by id r dot id like that and you would just probably say set not really load url and like go down dot com like that right so i haven't actually personally used web view ever with my applications but you might actually just want to make use of it if you, if you have builded a really really sweet web mobile website and you just want to not mess with java anymore and uh, pretty much you just want your websites javascript etc to take care of the mobile view as well but right now it's not working because my internet is not working right so instead what I can do is I can just pass in a data text HTML and I could say that I am or actually say hello from the web right so for all those who don't understand what the heck is this well this would kind of allow you to you know have some custom HTML without actually creating a file and then opening it in the browser so like this would be a kind of file scope only but uh, it could be used for you to create uh, you know just test your code if you have a small one on runtime on browsers so you know this is actually used with this data scheme is used with the base 64 encoded as well so you have like image base 64 and all that stuff well that's some stuff we'll discuss maybe not later on so you can see right now my browser says hello from the web and that's pretty cool actually and uh, what you can do instead is that you could just create an edit text and uh, I guess I haven't told you about the listeners for edit text which would fire when text is updated or for now what you can just do is, is you can create an edit text and then a button right here and you, when the button is pressed you just get the text from edit text and then load it as a URL inside this my browser so that's kind of assignment for you and uh, just paste your codes in the comments and uh, if you just face any problem then let me know as well so that's it for this tutorial and um, in the next tutorial I don't know what I'm gonna do but it would be super cool so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching